Although perversely, that means that my offspring now think it's a real treat <laughs> to sit in front of the telly and eat, so that backfired on me. Uh, but yes, I think it's uh, important. But does it have to be in a dining room? Can it not be sort of at the kitchen table or something else? I wonder. Uh, is it the uh, kissing goodbye to the dining room as uh, Mary Berry, you know, has said, she, oh, that's it, she's given up on hers because she just wasn't using it. She was only using it for Christmas. And there's many a person would agree, but we are split 50-50 as a nation, it seems. 52% say, and it's important to have a dining room and um, 48% saying it's not so effectively half and half then about uh, this dining room situation. I wonder what you think. Now, Grant Harold from Tetbury was a butler to the royal family for years. He's seen plenty of very formal dining rooms uh, over that time. So is he glad to see the back of linen napkins then and silver condiment sets when he is at home? Hello, good morning to you. Good morning. Am I giving you palpitations? Is that right? Oh, I think Miss Betty's going to call a worldwide <laughs> panic among my butler friends. <laughs> I'm going to be getting phone calls and emails and letters for the next week from people panicking <laughs> at the end of the dining room. You just sent me a message while you were listening at home mm. saying, flap down table, I feel ill, yeah. fold up chair, somebody call a doctor, I've passed out. Look, it's about lack of room. I had a flat. It was a, you know, It was just a studio flat. Didn't yeah, have any room for anything else. Yes, it sounds delightful. And, and I think the thing is, the, the flap, I mean, nothing wrong with flap down furniture. It's beautiful in the garden. You know, I haven't got a problem with it being in the garden. Um, but, you know, this thing about it, the end of kind of dining rooms, I mean, it, it, it kind of worries me because, as your last caller mentioned, the whole thing about having a candlelit dinner or supper, it's that wonderful kind of ambience, that, that kind of setting. And, I mean, what, so what's going to happen? We're going to have, um, which I know we all, some people do anyway, but you're, you're going to have candles all around the, the, the sitting room. I mean, if I walk in, I think I'm joining a seance or a religious <laughs> gathering. <laughs> so where, is it true that in, in things like Buckingham Palace, when they do those amazing mm. dinners, you know, into mm. the distance dinners, that you actually have to measure to get all each piece exactly at the right space well, do, between do you know um absolutely i mean there was a wonderful documentary and this is what kind of got my interest in, in working for the royal family there was a wonderful documentary many years ago and you saw them actually measuring out the, the place settings and even the chairs from the edge of the table to the chair uh, you saw that get out. i mean i, I do this myself i mean okay my table's small and we only get about four around it but i still <laughs> measure everything beautifully. you do not measure in your house absolutely. Which I, I, I don't, I've not been to your house, but I mean, it's not a huge house, is yeah, that well, right? Well, with somebody that's got flat down furniture, I don't think it's going to be happening <laughs> soon. But I mean, if you, I you mean, if you saw me, if you saw me, um, kind of doing the table, when I say I measure, okay, I don't go and every time use a ruler, I use what I call the, the inch thumb. So I use the, the top part of the thumb to kind of measure the whole way around. I've got what are you measuring? Time. What are you measuring? The, 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 the cutlery. So measure the cutlery, the placemat, if there's a placemat, unless it's linen, um, you make sure that the glass are all in the right position, the candlesticks, I mean, I'm sure you've got your silver candlesticks and your flat down table, so you've got to make oh, sure that those are in the right position. So it's all these kind of things that when people walk in, it all looks perfect. Well, you've sent me a picture because I said, let's have a look at when it's mm. like, looking very glam. And it's it's only, you know, it's not a big table. There's no, no leaf within, so it's only no. set up for four. It mm -hmm. does look very pretty. And you've got your napkins that you've done it in a, what is that? I don't know what that is, but it's a pattern. You've done it yes. into a shape. Yes. And then you've got your, I see a knife and fork and not near the edge. And so this is that thumb thing. So you push Absolutely. them a thumb's Absolutely. worth in towards the table. You've got your yeah. different glasses, your different cutlery. And you've got some nice um, flowers in the, in the middle and your candlesticks. Yeah. But you don't eat like that every day. Don't Do you? All? Don't we all? No, seriously? <laughs> Do you? Well, the thing is, um, I love having a dining room. Whenever I can... I, I use it. I've got. I mean, people say, "Do you ever sit down and have a television meal?" I think everybody has a, at some point or another, has a television meal. But whenever I can use the dining room, I, I try to. I try to use it um, because it's it's nice. It's a, you know, it's a room that's quite fun to kind of have, and and everything's in there. The cutlery's in there. The glasses is through there. So it, it makes it easy to sit down and 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 have a have a meal in there. I mean, this, the other thing is, I was thinking about this, you know, d dining rooms have evolved. I mean, at one time there were great halls. I mean, what, could you imagine saying we to come into the great, yes. the great hall with <laughs> your flat down table and chairs? Yeah. And then it evolved into, the, obviously, the parlour, which was a little room just off, and then we have the dining room. So what's next? The lap? 
you know. Well, yes, it, that's exactly what's next. I mean, but, frankly, that's a, what a lot of people are already saying. It's like, that's what laps for. But you might as well go to the cinema. You know, it's, it's going to be that kind of... Expi- well, then again, as I said a minute ago, or, or a religious gathering. Um, I think the thing is, it, it does evolve. And, of course, I'm very... I understand that it's 21st century and people... Uh, the houses are not the size that they used to be and people have kind of got to kind of fit things in where they can. But I think if you've got a room that you can as a dining room, it's a lovely idea still to kind of lay up the table, get the guests to put on black tie. There's another subject for another day. <laughs> yes. Get them to wear their black tie uh, and actually make, make a kind of effort. And actually, and it's a nice, and for youngsters, youngsters love it. I mean, I know young people... Well, this is what we're just hearing about. Like, I don't know what you mm. define as young, but, you know, the 30-year-old son of, of uh, one caller, you know, Prudence, saying that he couldn't get enough of being able to use the dining room at his mum's exactly. house. And it's, um, it's, it's really nice when you get people... And I have also got some friends who have got some beautiful big big homes not far off stately home and they're they've even been coming to me saying look can you give me some pointers on on doing a doing a black tie dinner how do we do it and this is people that should know but i'm making sure that we carry this wonderful tradition on and i assure you there's no flat down furniture in sight <laughs> i'm gonna i know what to get you for christmas uh, alistair says um uh, that sadly it's the end of the dining room in my humble opinion i blame it on rabbit hutch housing design cushioned knee trays are the order of the day and he sent me a picture of one with little chickens on um they are, yeah. but houses are getting smaller. You know, you get a lovely 1930s house, you know part of the attraction of that house is that it's going to have big rooms. And that's not the case anymore, is it? So, you know, if you've got not a lot of space, then you might want it instead for a study or a sewing room or kids playroom or something oh, that's very good a stone room i like that idea actually um <laughs> but i mean the thing is you, you, it's absolutely true houses are getting smaller i'm very aware of that i mean i was speaking to somebody about it the other day because i i thought the house that i'm in i, I mean it's a, a three-bedroom house so quite big they are relatively good sized rooms and i always thought it's quite small and i was saying to this this chap who lives locally i said oh you know the, there's quite a small house and he kind of looked at me and he said small he said have you seen the new the new developments that are going up and of course i haven't and he said you know these rooms are, are like he was kind of saying that utility rooms because we're lucky enough to have a utility room, he was saying that it's kind of half the size of that for a bedroom, and I that that really did give me quite well, a shock. And I thought, yeah. well, where are they going to put the utility room? And he just kind of looked at me, and I thought, <laughs> okay, we won't we won't go there then. <laughs> and you do you do you silver sugar tongs for your tea? Is that right? Oh, absolutely. When you mention oh, silver my sugar tongs. Anna, you're going to have to come round here. I'm going to have to do an afternoon tea and a dinner, and we're going to have to do the full the full works. And, and All then, right, you're and then, on. You're on. I love that. Thank you. <laughs> Sugar tongs. I thought that was left behind with my grandmother. My grandmother.